Hey guys, this is Noir. Um, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Um, so it's been years since I've last posted a video, and I do apologize for that because I don't think I ever really gave an explanation. Um, but a lot has happened since my last video, which I think was back in 2017, if I remember correctly. Um, I graduated medical school. I finished my master's in public health. I started residency training. I got married. Um, I moved across the country from New York City to Phoenix um, to do my residency training. And that's kind of what I'm in the middle of right now. Um, and I've still continued planning, maybe not uh, to such an extensive um, way as I as I once used to, as in like million, having millions of planners. I really pretty much only stick to one or two, and um, you know I was pretty consistent with mostly my Hobonichi cousin, to be honest. Um, and like a lot of other people in the planning community, I became obsessed with wax and wax melts over the past year, year and a half or so. But anyway, I finally feel like I'm in a good-ish place to start filming videos again, um, you know, both mentally and career-wise and personal life-wise. I feel like I'm in this more stable, nice place compared to when I last left off, which was a very chaotic time in my life. Um, and I honestly was not doing very well from a mental or personal standpoint. So it was a big reason why I had left. Um, but thankfully a lot of that has been resolved and I'm, I'm in a good, happy place now. Um, and I'm really happy about that and I wanted to come back to one of the things that used to bring me so much joy which was filming these um, YouTube videos um, both planner related and I also want to kind of delve out and maybe do some other types of videos this being one of them which is going to be a wax haul so just FYI um, and then something else I want to point out is that I know my nail polish is two different colors and I'm sorry if this grosses anyone out, but it's because I was cooking um, fish and I was marinating the fish in some turmeric and I did not use gloves. So this hand, my nails are, are now um, stained yellow and I tried to scrub it and it didn't really work out. So I'm sorry if that's gross, but that's just life for me at this time and I didn't want to give myself another excuse to not film this video. So I was like, I'm just gonna do it. So um, I hope to get into things more about, you know, what's been going on in the past four years or so um, in my next planning videos, but I just wanted to start off easy with a haul that I was super excited about, which is a waxy haul um, from Birdies Making Sense. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it, um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so Birdie's Making Sense, first of all, her packaging was like incredible. Um, she includes like this little packet of candies, which most of it my husband and I have eaten. Um, <laughs> I got it like two days ago, but I was working, so I didn't really get a chance to um, film it before I ate all the candy. Um, she also includes these cotton balls to clean out your warmer, which is super thoughtful of her. And everything was, each item was in bubble wrap, which was super fun to like unwrap. It all felt like presents. Um, her wax is incredibly soft. So um, storing them is something I still have yet to figure out. So this first one here, is called Lend Me a Hand. Oops, I'm still like getting into um, figuring out how I used to film and stuff. So please, um, please forgive me if 
the video is not the best today. Um, so this is in Lend Me a Hand, which is caramel apple, s'mores, and graham cracker. And this wax, like, look at this. Like, they're literally veins and, like, you know, it looks like a hand, a bloody freaking hand, which is so cute. Um, so, um, I did sniff these when I first got them, but it was just a quick sniff and then I stored them away with the intention that I was going to film this video. So, um, I'm not going to do like super thorough, like scent things. Cause I do actually have a lot of wax and I don't want my first video back to be like forever long. <laughs> so I'm going to try to be quick. Um, so on first sniff, I get the caramel apple and I do also get the s'mores. I don't get the graham cracker as much, but I think graham cracker is also a scent that comes out more on warm. So we'll see how that goes. And her wax is, like I said, super soft. So I'm not going to take them out of the bag because it ruins the bag and then it messes up the wax and I just don't want to do that. And it'll make this video so much longer if I do that. This next one is so cute. It's a little dog and it's Chewbarka, which is zucchini bread, iced lemon cookie, and coconut cream pie. And the detail on this is incredible. This smells so good. So I get the iced lemon cookie first and the coconut cream pie, and the zucchini bread is kind of in the background. But again, zucchini bread, for me, is another one of those scents that comes out more on warm. That is gonna be such a sad one to cut up. This next one is Boohoo, which is maple butter, zucchini pumpkin bread, and marshmallow fluff. And this one's interesting. It almost has like a clean, almost laundry scent, but I think that's just the marshmallow fluff combined with the maple butter. Um, but I really like it, and I think this will be a really nice scent for the bedroom for going to sleep. This next one is, um, let's see here. This was a whoopsie daisy. So she has like a couple of them and I try to pick up as many as I could because they were so discounted. First of all, her wax is so well priced compared to some other vendors. Um, and on top of that, she had these discounted ones which were like a dollar I don't actually remember, but like $1.70 or something like that. Um, so this one is Bake the World a Better Place, which is coffee addiction plus caramel apple cheesecake. And the only like whoopsie daisy is that the handle for the cup is broken, but there's like not actually anything wrong with the wax itself. And this is interesting. It smells like... I get like... This to me smells how when I would go trick-or-treating as a young child um, and all my candy would be in like the plastic bag and then when you would just open the plastic bag and sniff it, that's what this smells like to me. So just like delicious, sweet chocolate um, with like a light mocha layer, which is I guess the coffee addiction. Oh my gosh, I just realized I did not go over the samples. I'm sorry. Okay, so quickly, this one, they all, you get three samples in this little cute little mesh bag. This one is Satsuma, Strawberry White Cake, and Fruity Pebbles. And I definitely get the Fruity Pebbles and the Satsuma. Um, and then you get, you get like the um, Strawberry White Cake as a sweet like base, but definitely not the first scent that I got. Um, this one is roasted coffee and a hint of peanut butter cookie. I definitely get the roasted coffee. I don't get the peanut butter cookie so much. I really just smell the roasted coffee um, and it smells really great. Um, a lot of coffee scents to my nose do smell a little bit burnt and this one smells like maybe a smidge burnt but I actually like my coffee a little burnt so I don't mind it but that's just something to keep in mind. This one is pumpkin peanut brittle, brittle and salted caramel. This one is so big. Oh that is so good. 
Oh my gosh, it's delicious. You smell like the salted caramel and the pumpkin. I don't get the peanut brittle as much, but that might be part of like the saltiness that I'm smelling. Okay, next up we have um, Don't Fall Asleep, which is sweater weather, apple pie, and marshmallow fireside. And this is like a really nice slab of wax. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is such a good fall scent. I get the sweater weather, which is a BBW dupe. Um, and the marshmallow fryer side. I don't smell the apple pie as much actually, but um, yeah, this is like, this is like autumn in a wax for me. Um, this giant pumpkin here is cut it out, which is caramel pumpkin swirl, French baguette, and fresh roasted coffee. Oh yeah. I get the caramel pumpkin swirl first and the fresh roasted coffee. And this coffee does not smell um, burnt, which it might be because the other kind of sweeter scents are um, modifying it a little bit. Then we've got this one, which is Never Grow Mold, which is bourbon butterscotch, French baguette, zucchini bread, sweet bakery dough, and a hint of cornbread. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. I have to take this one out. Look at this. It's like a French baguette. So this smells, I smell the bourbon butterscotch. And I get like a doughy bread, which is the French baguette, I'm assuming. Or the sweet bakery dough, actually. And I get the, I actually do get the hint of cornbread in there as well. Um, it's wonderful. It's such a nice, sweet scent. Um, I think it would also be great to mix with some other things. This one is Oreo cookies, and they legit just look like double stuffed Oreos. And they smell just like Oreos, which is delicious. Um, yeah, these are so cute. Um, then we have this one, which was so funny. <laughs> this is uh, Coffee Makes S-H-I-T Happen, Irish Cream, and fudge brownie those are the scent notes and this came in like a little like food box thing with um some grass so it looked like poop and grass and this looks so realistic you guys i pranked my husband when i first opened this um so we have a cat mochi and i pranked him saying that mochi had pooped in my hand and he believed it for a quick second he won't admit that he believed it but he totally did and it just looks like poop which is so gross and funny and i don't know it's just it really makes me crack up and this smells so good i am very um iffy about chocolate scents in my wax i just don't think they are usually done very well um and i totally understand that it's a hard scent to kind of emulate but this smells so good it legit just smells like a brownie and i think it's the irish cream that really helps it out so it's just a gorgeous scent pairing situation then we have this guy here which is creeper and this is in coffee bean cinnamon buns and maple butter frosting um, and here i'll take this one out too since it's a little bit easier that is so crazy how detailed that is it's incredible oh my gosh that is so good this is delicious I get these cinnamon buns first with like the coffee. Again, this is not a burnt coffee smell. 
and I feel the maple butter I think is like hiding behind the cinnamon but I do get like a hint of it and I'm hoping it comes out more on warm I know a lot of people don't like maple in their wax I love the smell of maple I think it's delicious then we've got this one here, which is kind of a cake deal, which is strawberry pancake, cream soda, and a hint of sweet strawberry. And it's just like two piggies rolling in mud. And this is huge, guys. So this smells like um, strawberry seeds. That is what I smell first, the seeds of the strawberry, like a strawberry jam seed smell. Which I think is the sweet strawberry. And I do actually get the cream soda. It's delicious, honestly. It smells so good. <laughs> Next up, we have another Whoopsie Daisy, which is Inked Mommy, which is fluffy towels, strawberry, raspberry, and guava, plus cotton candy. Just another little souffle, and it just says Inked Mommy on it. I definitely get the fluffy towels first. It almost smells like, to me, it smells like a laundry detergent, and I think it's just a combination of fluffy towels with a sweet, fruity scent. I'm not the biggest fan of clean laundry scents, but um, sometimes I think it's nice when it's mixed with sweet, fruity things, and this is an example of that. I don't love it. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it, but I think it's a nice scent. Um, to have for those days and my husband actually loves the clean laundry scent so it kind of works out well i also got this mystery scent which is could be bakery fresh fruity or coffee and it's this adorable giant little pumpkin here this okay um it smells like bakery i definitely smell like a cinnamon pumpkin smell with like a doughy yeasty smell in the background yeah. i would guess that this is like a cinnamon a pumpkin spice bread maybe like a zucchini bread that's my best guess for that it smells wonderful this one is another Whipsa Daisy, and it's in Sally, which is sweet strawberry and birthday cheesecake. It's got the beautiful Pomeranian. Girl, let's take this one out too. And it's just a little bit messed up, um, like on the eyes and stuff, but I mean, it still looks freaking amazing to me. Okay, so this again smells like strawberry seeds specifically. So that's what makes me think that think that the sweet strawberry fragrance that she has is the one that smells like the um, strawberry jam, strawberry seeds. And that's really all I'm smelling. I don't smell the birthday cheesecake in this. Yeah. I just smell the strawberry seeds and it smells incredible again. So I'm very happy about that. Oh my gosh, this one smells so good i remember this being like probably my favorite which is another whoops a daisy in daydreamer and it's sugared lemon cotton candy and lavender and it's got this gorgeous elephant on it the souffle i mean i guess looks a little bit messed up but i mean this is incredible to me still oh my gosh it smells so good Wow. Um, it's, if any of you guys have used, have had um, 
The Pharmacist's Daughter Lavender Lemonade. Similar vibe to that. This one may be um, a little bit sweeter though. And I love it. I have a loaf, I which I'm gonna haul um, probably next. Um, I got a loaf in the Pharmacist's Daughter's Lavender Lemonade. It's so good. This is so good. I could fall asleep to this any day. Um, so I totally forgot that I picked up her Halloween bundle, which is a pumpkin spice, um, pumpkin spice latte bundle. And yeah, I totally forgot that I got this. So let's go through these. These are incredible, by the way. Sorry, I have like my hair in all of these. Gross. Um, let me move these aside. We can go through one by one. So the first one I have here is um, pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin sugar donuts and cream cheese frosting. And it's in the shape of lips. Yeah, that smells like pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin sugar donuts. I don't get the cream cheese frosting as much. Um, next up, we've got this, which is pumpkin spice latte and vanilla pound cake and smoked vanilla. And this is in the shape of a tongue, which is crazy. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I get the pumpkin spice latte, and I get the smoke in there as well, which I actually really like sweet, smoky scents, um, especially in the fall and winter, so I'm really happy about that. This one is pumpkin spice latte, cinnamon buns, and salted caramel, and it's a toe with a gross toe. Actually, look, I can't even say that it's a gross toenail because it looks basically like my nails right now. Um, and it's got this like blood coming out. It's just so, so cute. Um, definitely got the pumpkin spice latte. And that's kind of all I get in this. I don't really get the cinnamon buns, but that could just be hiding in the spices of the pumpkin spice latte. It's probably just the cinnamon. Um, and I, I don't really get the salted caramel in this. This one is pumpkin spice latte and powdered donuts. Let's see. It's a little souffle with an eyeball. Yep, I get the pumpkin spice latte and that like powdery note in donuts. Gosh, I love powdered donuts so much. Um, this one is pumpkin spice latte, maple cream latte, caramel latte, and pumpkin pecan waffles. Lots of lattes, huh? And it's a finger with a spider. So freaking cool. Yeah, this I smell... I definitely smell the caramel latte in this. I don't smell the maple cream. I get the pumpkin spice, the caramel latte, and that's kind of all I'm getting on cold right now. The caramel latte um, is probably the first note that I get in this, which is so yummy because I love my coffee scents. Next up, we've got this nose, which is pumpkin spice latte, sugared maple, and a hint of brown sugar. All of these notes sound so good and right up my alley. Ooh. I get the hint of brown sugar in this. And the sugared maple. That is so good. This one is pumpkin spice latte zucchini bread, and it's like a pair of dentures. Well, not dentures, I guess, like gross teeth. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. I get 
the zucchini bread really strong on that which is interesting because on cold i don't know what it is about my nose i don't really get zucchini bread on cold most times i don't get it until i warm things up but that i definitely smell it these are a pair of ears pumpkin spice latte pumpkin apple butter and pie crust Ooh. definitely get the apple and the pie crust yummy Um, and then last but not least, we've got a brain and it's pumpkin spice latte, sugar cookie dough, and Mexican fried ice cream. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. These are so good. I cannot freaking wait to melt these. That is so good. I definitely smell the pumpkin spice latte and the sugar cookie dough. I don't actually know what Mexican fried ice cream smells like. I have it in a couple of my scents, uh, waxes, but I've never smelt it on its own, but I don't know if I'm smelling that, but I definitely get the first two. All right, guys, so that concludes my first haul back. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what, um, what you guys might wanna see from me. I definitely wanna do um a planner video regarding my hobonichi and how i've been using it so that's something that's going to be upcoming i have quite a few wax um haul videos to do i was thinking i'd maybe do you know melting baskets and some wax empties um let me know what you guys want to see from me um if there's anything specific and I would love to add it to my list of things to start working on. I appreciate you guys so much. I miss you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now.